This is your News Now Sports. The Cincinnati Reds finished last in the NL Central last season with a 67-95 and record. However, this summer saw numerous changes that have brought about optimism for Cincinnati in this new 2019 campaign. The Reds back in action today in Pittsburgh as yesterday's contest was postponed due to weather. Sonny Gray makes his debut for Cincinnati. Top two, one on, one out. It's the opposing pitcher, Trover Williams, slapping one down the line. An RBI base hit for Williams. It's 2-0 Pirates. Later on in the inning, base is loaded to away. Corey Dickerson hits it back to the mound. It goes off. Gray who comes home for one. On to first for two. It's a one, two, three double play to end the inning, but Gray lasts only two and two thirds, giving up two earned on five hits. Bottom six runners on the corners for Yasiel Puig. He strikes out on three straight pitches. Top nine, five nothing Pittsburgh. One of the few highlights for the Reds today as Puig makes a phenomenal diving grab in right, but the Reds get shut out. Five to nothing. In Minnesota, the Indians look to get above 500 for the first time this season in their rubber match with the Twins. Bottom four, two on two out for Byron Buxton. He crushes Carlos Carrasco's 0-2 pitch off the wall in left. It's a two-run double for Buxton. Twins up three zip. Top five now, Nelson Cruz has liftoff. As he blasts this one deep to left center, it is out of here. It's Cruz's first home run as a twin. The Minnesota lead is five. It's an eight-run gap in the eighth. They're loaded for Carlos Santana. He ropes one down the line in left. That will clear the bases as the Indians get on the board, but that is the lone bright spot for Cleveland today. They lose 9-3. to three. Up north of the border, the Tigers hope to avoid a third straight loss in the final game of their opening series with the Blue Jays. Matt Moore on the bump for Detroit. Bottom three, he gets Luke Maley swinging. Seven innings, none earned. Six Ks for Moore. Top seven bases juice for Jamer Candelario. He pokes one into left. The two-out base hit scores two, and the Tigers lead it three to zip. Top of the eighth, two on, one out for the pinch hitter, Rowdy Telez. He takes Joe Jimenez deep to center. It's a three-run shot, and that ties things up. Extra innings we go. Top 11, runners on the corners for Nick Castellanos. It's a base hit back up the middle. The Tigers reclaim the lead, and they hang on to win it 4-3 to three in 11 innings. In Arlington, the Cubs take on the Rangers in the final game of a three-game set. Top two, Kyle Schwarber breaks the ice as he takes Lance Lynn deep to left center. A solo shot for Schwarber as the Cubs on the board first. It's 4-1 now in the bottom of the fourth. Base is full for Delino to Shields, and he smokes Cole Hamill's 3-2 pitch deep to left and out of here. A grand slam for to Shields, who had just two homers last year. This one gives Texas the lead. Bottom seven, we are tied at eight as Drupal Cabrera with a high fly down the left field line. It just stays fair for a two-run shot. Rangers in front, 10-8. to eight. Bottom nine, it's 10 apiece. Runner on third, one out. Pedro Strope's pitch gets past Wilson Contreras. Joey Gallo comes home to score. It's a walk-off wild pitch for the Rangers as they win 11-10. to 10. We need to take a break here on Your News Now Sports, but when we return, the Columbus Blue Jackets continue their quest toward the postseason. They are in Buffalo tonight to take on the Sabres. Full highlight right after this. The final week of the NHL regular season is upon us, and with four games to play, the Columbus Blue Jackets sit in the final wildcard spot in the East with 92 points. Columbus can't afford any slip-ups, though, as the Montreal Canadiens also have 92 points, but the Jackets have a game in hand on the Habs. Tonight, Columbus is in Buffalo to take on a Sabres team that has lost six in a row. First period, Seth Jones fires one to the front of the net. Pierre-Luc Dubois is there to tip it into the yawning cage. The Jackets strike first on Dubois' 25th of the season. Columbus on the power play here. It's Dubois to Oliver Bjorkstrand who blows it by Lena Solmark. A power play goal for Bjorkstrand. It's a 2-0 lead for the Jackets. Still in the first, Ryan Dezingle throws it to the front of the net and Nick Foligno on the wraparound just gets it over the goal line. The 17th of the season for the captain. 3-0 CBJ after one. Second period now, same score. Josh Anderson puts one right through Olmark. Number 27 on the year for him as the Jackets cruise tonight 4-0. To From the ice to the hardwood, NCAA tournament action in D.C. Michigan State and Duke tip off for a right to head to the Final Four. First half, Zion Williamson explodes to the rim and throws it down. He scores a game-high 24. Duke within five. Then it's Williamson feeding Cam Reddish. He sticks it from downtown. It's a 9-0 Duke run. Blue Devils up six. Final seconds of the first half now. Cassius Winston blows by his defender and scores. Smarty up four at the break. Late second half, Duke up three. Winston lobs it up for Xavier Tillman. It's a one-point game. Moments later, it's 
It's Tillman doing the dishing as he feeds Kenny Goins, who buries the trifecta. Michigan State up by two. Final seconds now. Spartans inbounding. Duke needs a foul, but they can't catch Winston. Time runs out on the Blue Devils as the Spartans are going to the Final Four. They win it 68-67. One other Elite Eight game today in Louisville. Auburn tangles with Kentucky. Late first half, Jared Harper steps back, puts up the three, and nails it plus the foul. A four-point play for the junior, but Auburn's down five at the half. Second half now, Bryce Brown swoops in for the steal, and he cans the corner three. Auburn has their first lead of the game, but here comes Kentucky. On the inbounds pass, it's Tyler Hero finding a soaring Kelvin Johnson for the throwdown. Wildcats within one, and then Reed Travis goes to work in the post, going glass for two plus the foul. The free throw is no good, so it's a one-point game. Final 30 seconds, Auburn down two. Harper explodes to the rack and lays it in as we go to overtime in the extra period. It's Harper again with the blow-by and the bucket. Harper leads the Tigers with 26 points, and Auburn is heading to the Final Four for the first time in school history. They win it 77-71. to We finish tonight on the links, the final round of the WGC Dell Technologies match play from Austin Country Club. Matt Kuchar taking on Kevin Kistner for the championship. They're tied on the sixth. Kistner in troubleshooting right next to the steps of a building. But look at this. He nearly holds it. He'll take it within a few feet of the cup instead. Matt Kuchar now his fourth shot at the sixth. He'll just miss this to the right of the hole, but he would put it in for par. And that would leave the door open for Kistner to take the lead. And he would do so with this putt, making no mistake to go one up through six. All the way to 16 we go. It's Kistner with this long putt to win it. And it is true. Kevin Kistner beats Matt Kuchar by a 3-2 to two score. And he wins the WGC Dell Technologies match play, Katie. Great. Thanks so much, Matt. We'll wrap things up after the break.